What's up guys, Swift here with a post-game recap after the Bears dominated the Seattle Seahawks and started out the preseason 2-0. Let's get right into it. Justin Fields' seven passes on the opening drive was the most he has thrown on an opening drive in his NFL career. Last season with Matt Nagy, the most passes he threw on an opening drive was three. He was 5 for 7 for 39 yards and moved the offense downfield for 3 points. That was the end of his night. He connected twice with Cole Komet for gains of 19 and 12 yards, and he hit Darnell Mooney for a 6-yard pass. Fields in the first team offense looked sharp. After that, the younger players and back half of the roster continued playing harder than the Seahawks all night, and the Bears dominated on all three phases throughout the entire game. The game was even more of a blowout than the final score indicates. Chicago was just short of scoring another touchdown and then getting a safety. They then allowed the Seahawks to drive down the field and score late in the fourth quarter. They then also allowed a two-point conversion and an onside kick with two minutes left in the game. The Bears were up 27-3 with the ball inside the five-yard line about to score with roughly five minutes left in the game. The final score was 27-11 to as the Bears' defense held up in the red zone late to stop the Seahawks from getting another garbage time score. A couple of individual player notes before I get into breaking down the tape. The guys who made initial impressions on me. Bayless Jones Jr. had a big punt return and made his first reception for four yards. He had two targets. He made an impact on special teams with a 48-yard punt return and a 31-yard kick return. He did fumble his first return, but he recovered it himself. He looked so fast. Jack Sanborn had another impressive game, leading the team with seven tackles. Rookie punter Trenton Gill looked amazing today. He had seven punts for 319 yards and a 45.6 yard average. He had a long punt of 61 yards and four of his seven punts were downed inside the 20 with only one touchback. He also rotated with Cairo Santos on kickoffs and looked good there too. This kid looks like the real deal so far. Trayvon Coley added another sack after having two versus the Chiefs. Sam Kamara and Alquadine Muhammad also recorded sacks. Former USFL standout Demarcus Gates had another impressive performance. He had five tackles and two for a loss. John Alexander, the undrafted safety, was very close to getting a safety, but Seahawks quarterback Jacob Eason was just able to throw the ball away as he was being tackled in the end zone. A quick wide receiver update, Isaiah Coulter had three catches for 39 yards on six targets, and Nasimba Webster had four catches for 25 yards on seven targets. I felt like the coaching staff was evaluating these two guys tonight for sure. Kevin Shaw, the undrafted rookie, also had two catches for 22 yards. At tight end, undrafted rookie, and the guy I'm rooting for, Jake Tongas, scored his first NFL touchdown. Chase Allen was close to getting a touchdown as well, but was ruled just short. Darrington Evans punched it in on the next play. Also in the second quarter, Isaiah Coulter made a beautiful catch that would have been a first down. It was ruled incomplete on the field. Matt Eberflus missed an opportunity to challenge this one. I tweeted about this, and while it's not a big deal, in the preseason, this is a time I would like the coaching staff to test out the communication on things like this. Elijah Hicks scores a touchdown. He's coming with that energy. He's really like that. I love it. Yeah, I'm turned. Just know I'm coming with that energy. I'm really like that. We saw flashes from the rookie class all night long. It started with Valus Jones Jr. on special teams. Tyler Gordon Jr. also showed off his speed and almost came away with a sack. Dominique Robinson flashed some more pass rushing moves and got in the backfield a few times. Braxton Jones had a short night, but looked good at first glance. Preston Ebner also looked good, but left early with an ankle injury. Fullback Kari Blassingame was also seen on the sideline with a soft cast on his wrist. 
Jake Tongas, the guy who scored the touchdown, was playing fullback, filling in for him, and has been listed as the second team fullback. If blasting game is out a while, expect Tongas to make the roster. We also had a chance to look directly at two tackles drafted well ahead of Braxton Jones. The Seahawks have top 10 pick Charles Cross and third round pick Abraham Lucas. Now tonight's first impression, you have to love how Braxton has looked compared to both of these guys. Charles Cross reportedly looked great last week versus Pittsburgh, but had a really rough night tonight. He was called for three false starts and more penalties than the Bears have this entire preseason. Also, with Abraham Lucas, I believe he's listed around 330 pounds, but he looked too big and slow tonight to play in our scheme, in my opinion. Obviously, the coaching staff would want him to lose weight, but he just didn't look like a good fit tonight. I do think Charles Cross will be good, but tonight you had to be impressed with how our fifth round rookie left tackle look compared to a top 10 overall left tackle the Seahawks have. Overall, it was yet another impressive performance. Now it's important to note the first team did not play much tonight. This is just the preseason, so don't get overhyped, but this was a second straight performance where our guys outplayed the other team. We out-hustled and looked like we wanted it more. This team looks hungry, and I have been very impressed with our rookie class and back end of our roster. I will be breaking down the tape overnight and tomorrow. Look forward to some more videos. Until next time, bear down!